If you want to know the best horror TV shows, you should definitely watch our picks for the best ones of the 2010s. You won't bite. I took her teeth. We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good TV show again. Number 10. American Horror Story 2011. Once a month in ceremonies, they would cut themselves to let the spirits go free. There's something smart about that. American Horror Story is an anthology horror television series created by Ryan Murphy and Brad Falchuk. The premise of this fan favorite show is an anthology structure, meaning that while the cast stays same, every season has new characters and an entirely different story. Over the course of many great seasons that couldn't be more different, but are still exciting and spooky, we witness great, dark, and twisted horror stories to grind your teeth. Sometimes extremely violent, sometimes creepy, but always horrifying. How sick is that? I've heard a lot worse. Cool. Can you tell me some? I like stories. No, I can't. The world is a filthy place. It's a filthy goddamn horror show. Number 9. The Walking Dead, 2010. Hey, you alive in there? <laughs> hello, hello. The Walking Dead is a post-apocalyptic horror television series created by Frank Darabont. What if you'd fall into coma, wake up, and find everyone was gone? This is exactly what happens to police officer Rick Grimes, who once had a beloved wife and a young son. But after being shot, he basically misses the end of all civilization due to a zombie virus. Now he must survive in the face of death and gigantic zombie hordes while managing to find his lost family. I'm a policeman. Little girl. Don't be afraid, okay? Little girl. Number eight. Bates Motel, 2013. It's all right, mother. I'm sorry I said you're crazy. You're not crazy. <laughs> Bates Motel is a psychological horror drama television series created by Carlton Cuse, Carrie Aaron, and Anthony Cipriano. The incredibly interesting premise of Bates Motel tells the origin story of cult murderer Norman Bates, who became a fan favorite through Alfred Hitchcock's masterwork, Psycho. Discovering the ill relationship with his mother, we become witness to dark secrets and the birth of a horrifying icon that took place in the famous Bates Motel. Don't you ever! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? You're a damn joke, Norman. You let that bitch run you like a puppet. She doesn't run me, she cares about me. She's not a bad person, she's just not perfect! Number 7. The Originals, 2013. You need to listen to them. <laughs> the Originals is a fantasy supernatural drama television series created by Julie Pleck. A spin-off to the fan-favorite cult show, The Vampire Diaries, The Originals explores the myth of the very first vampires that existed on Earth. Centered around three of the Michelson siblings, the very first vampires, called The Originals, we witness all their struggles when being born into a world where they were the only monsters around, yet. If you think some liquor-fueled one-night stand, no offense, sweetheart, means a thing to me. Marcel may be able to keep us from practicing real magic in this town, but as keepers of the balance, we still know when nature has cooked up something new. Number six. Penny Dreadful, 2014. Are you afraid? N not of you. You think you know a greater demon? Tell me. Penny Dreadful is a horror drama television series created by John Logan. Following the name-giving premise to The Penny Dreadfuls, a type of 19th century British fiction publication with lurid and sensational subject matter, the series draws upon many well-known classic horror figures like Van Helsing or Count Dracula. In the darkest corners of Victorian London, some of the cruelest, most disturbing creatures lurk in the shadows, defining this adult drama that is filled by the best classic horror origin stories. You think you've walked on corpses? Spread them from here to the horizon, and I have walked further. You weak, foul, lustful, vainglorious man. 
How dare you presume to speak to me of death? Number five. What We Do in the Shadows, 2019. Send his soul to hell. Does anyone else feel like having a cheeky little snack? Sneaky snack? What We Do in the Shadows is a comedy horror television series created by Jemaine Clement and is based on the 2014 film of the same name, written by Clement and Taika Watiti. The series follows four vampire roommates living in New York City who have been housemates for hundreds of years. Wonderfully absurd and ridiculously funny, the series expands the vampire lore and finds a new perspective in its charming, unusual cast to create a mockumentary series that is well worth watching. Stick! It was we! Who killed the Baron? We thought that. That's what we thought. We, we, we were all discussing that. You have committed premeditated vampicide. Pass the judgment, Tilda. Number four. Hannibal, 2013. This cannibal you have him getting to know. I think I can help Goodwill see his face. Hannibal is a psychological horror thriller television series created by Brian Fuller. Following the title character who got famous through The Silence of the Lambs, his attempt of exploring the psychology of the character revolves around a modern setting with a Hannibal who is still unseen by the government, free and murdering around. When mentally sick Will, a detective agent, meets the psychiatrist Hannibal without knowing his deadly passion, a dangerous yet fascinatingly put-to-film friendship rises. Whose profile is he working on? I'm sorry, Will. Observing is what we do. I can't shut mine off any more than you can shut yours off. Please, don't psychoanalyze me. You won't like me when I'm psychoanalyzed. Will. Now, if you'll excuse me. Number three. Ash vs. Evil Dead, 2015. Why would you just run out like that? I'm not big on goodbyes. Ash, you shouldn't do this alone. I have to do it alone. Ash vs. Evil Dead is a comedy horror television series created by Sam and Ivan Raimi. This masterfully crafted sequel to the fan-favorite Evil Dead films by cult director Sam Raimi revolves around Ash Williams who, years after the events of Evil Dead, works at the value stop as a simple stock boy. He falls into a dull routine, getting drunk in the mornings, but when facing the Evil Dead once more, he is finally given another chance to be a bloody, violent hero. Everybody dies here. It's just a rule. Death, taxes, more death, and I don't pay taxes, so all I know is death. The rules. I'm gonna help you end this. Lady, I like your style. Number two. Stranger Things, 2016. I, I don't know what that means. I, I need you to tell me what to do. What should I do? How do I get to you? Stranger Things is a supernatural drama television series created by the Duffer Brothers. This love letter to good old 80s horror adventure film follows a group of young nerdy friends. But when one of them goes missing without a trace, the boys' worlds will make a literal 180-degree turn. A story about beasts from parallel dimensions, people with superhuman abilities, and mysteries that are about to be lifted are what makes Stranger Things so suspenseful, along with charismatic characters that try to maintain the world as they know it. Before we unveil TV show number one, here are some honorable mentions. Will you serve God? Now, I heard you the first time. Will you serve him? No, oh, for Pete's sake. Odin. I win, preacher. Wasn't even close. Now, tell me. Bring three men and follow me. Yes, sir. You! The rest of you stay here. Sir John! This prattling, they just won't stop. Sorry, Mommy. Show's over. Time to give the people what they want. Number one. The Haunting of Hill House, 2018. There were these, these loud bangs all over the walls. I d didn't hear it. I don't... It was so loud, how could you not hear it? The Haunting of Hill House is a horror drama television series created by Mike Flanagan. In the summer of 1992, 
A couple and their five children renovate an old house far away from civilization. But events that are beyond the understanding of us human beings come nearer and nearer. We follow the family through the first encounters with supernatural horror, and later become witness how they influenced, or rather destroyed, the protagonists' minds. But what actually happened? What can they still believe? Pipes. The hot water pipes. They're old. They can bang, jump in the walls. I bet that's what it was. Look, it's over now, right? Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular TV show in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 TV show videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.